hello guys welcome back to m stacks tutors today in this video we're going to be discussing about how to increase wordpress website speed in other words wordpress website speed optimization i'm going to show you a proof that this what i want to show you right now is actually working and i'm also going to show you guys how you can get it done from your end all right so right now how to increase wordpress website speed as you can see this is our workspace or in other word our worksheets these are things i just done so i'm going to explain all this here and uh, how it works all right so now let me show you a website all right this is uh this is a website and this is a music download website you everyone knows that uh this website contains contains a lot of large files mp3 videos and the rest of them if you click here you see that the website has a lot of files a lot of mp3 a huge amount of files all right so this website got about uh a thousand plus posts this website have 1915 posts so that is a huge file and these files are mp3 download downloadable files all right so right now i'm going to go to a website called gt metrics you can use this to check your site speed so i'm going to impute the url to this site here all right so i'm going to impute this there so let's check and see how fast this website is so let's check and see how fast this website is wow 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 this site is 100 percent when it comes to performance structure is 97 percent wow that is great so let's go back again and refresh let's retest this back again and see how fast this website is wow as you can see it's still 100 percent so that is to say this website it's very very fast when it comes to loading the total uh, speed uh, load time is 1.3 seconds that is this website load in the speed of 1.3 seconds that is actually high so that is it so let's go to page speed insight to see how fast this site load on google page speed insight all right so this is google page speed insight let's test and see how this website works if the gt metrics is actually giving us the right figures so let's confirm from the google own page speed insight let's wait for it to come up wow that is to say this website has an average of 81 percent low speed on mobile so why on desktop it has 98 percent low speed that is good that is great so gt metrics 100 percent um, Google Page Speed inside 98% and mobile is 81%. So that is it because I have a lot of files going in. I have not enabled my mobile catching uh, option or my plugin, but I'm going to show you guys how you can get this done from your end. Remember, this is an MP3 download website. This website has a lot of files, a thousand plus files. These are large mp3 downloadable files so this website is huge inside all right so i'm going to show you guys step by step process on how you can increase your wordpress speed all right guys before we get started to increase our wordpress website speed let's quickly go back to our workspace to see out those things to consider before getting started all right so this is it right here i said things to consider before you start um your wordpress speed optimization these are points to consider i have about four points here to consider before getting started to your wordpress speed optimization so from our list we have number one good hosting your hosting provider has a long way to go when it comes to site speed optimization if you are using a good host definitely your site is going to load fast but if you are using a bad host then bear it in mind that your site speed is going to be slow all right so a good hosting company has a long way 
to go when it comes to site speed optimization there are many good hosts out there that you can patronize so if you are still in doubt and don't know the best hosting provider to use then i recommend namecheap namecheap has a very good speed optimization another hosting company you can consider using is siteground siteground is actually the number one they have a very high speed optimization when it comes to any web hosting plan all right a company you can use is dreamhost dreamhost is a very nice company and many more out there all right so just do your research and get the best hosting company that provide a high speed optimization there are two things you need to consider when it comes to site speed increments or optimization is fast team so what you need on your site is actually a lightweight team not team filled up with cxl and a lot of bugs i recommend generate press this is the number one team i use on many of my websites so this site has this uh team has a lightweight uh, up, uh features and uh, you know not much css on them another team i love using is astra astra has a high speed optimization another team like the one you saw right now the one i showed right now this site here is using um mh magazine so this mh magazine lights so this team is a fast load team all right another team you can consider using is the hello team this team is actually fast when it comes to speed optimization the number three things you need to point out or number three things you need to consider is your page catching uh and the script optimization best plugin i recommend for wordpress speed optimization is the wp rocket or you can use auto optimizer this is a very nice plugin you can use to increase your site low speed all right or what i you can do if you don't know the best uh catching plugin to use you can actually go to your wordpress plugin gallery and then search for stuff like catching plugin or catch plugin then you are good to go you see a lot of plugin there that does the same work with wp rocket and auto optimizer so number four is image optimization plugin i recommend uh a plugin like imagefy smush and you this plugin is a nice plugin you can use to optimize your images on your wordpress generally you use cloudflare to increase or to enhance your site's load speed all right cloudflare has a lot of features such as changing from http to httpx all right so now i'm going to show you guys step by step on how you can increase your wordpress website speed now i'm going to use another website to show you guys how this works remember i said earlier in the video you need a lightweight team to make this possible all right so as you can see i'm going to check my team or install a new team so as you can see right here i'm using the mh magazine light you can use team like generate press you can use team like hello you can use team like astra these teams i mentioned are best uh lightweight team but if you know any other team that works best for you you can actually use it all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to go to my plugin section i'm going to install the necessary plugins required to increase my website page speed okay so i'm going to search for an image optimizer plugin so as you can see this is your image optimizer this is another EO image optimizer but this actually works for cloud and this is the one we are going to make use of in this video tutorial all right it says smaller images faster size happier visitor compressive image optimization it doesn't require a degree in rocket science this is the best plugin i recommend for anyone who wants to increase his or her website speed this plugin works best what it does it allows you to reduce or to compress a larger uh, image to a smaller size so this plugin is okay and we are going to make use of it you can actually use another plugin like the uh, imagify plugin you can actually use the smush plugin but this plugin is best recommended so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to hit on the install now button okay let's wait for this to come up all right it's installed i'm going to activate it okay it's activated i think 
yeah all right guys the next plugin we're going to be using in this video tutorial is the catching plugin as you can see right here we are we've gotten our image optimizer plugin like i said this plugin here is going to help reduce all your large images to a smaller size at the same best quality so we are going to go to the second plugin which is the catching plugin a plugin i recommend is wp rocket this plugin i've used it for a while now and it works best that is the plugin i use in getting this to 100 percent so another plugin you can still use for catching purpose is the auto optimizer so right now i'm going to install my wp rocket check in the description below to this video i'm going to leave a link to download wp rocket premium all right so i'm going to install my wp rocket premium so this is it right here so i'm going to install it and go to install now okay it's loading here let's wait for it to get to 100 percent 27 30 let's wait for it to get to 100 percent then we can proceed all right so what we're going to do here is to activate our plugin all right so this is the two plugin i'm going to use here the u image optimizer and the wp rocket the first thing i'm going to do is to go to the image optimizer plugin settings so i'm going to set how i want this to work all right this is our u image optimizer dashboard so let's go down to see the important settings all right so this is it here as you can see resize images so this option here allows you to set a default uh, image size for all the pixel but this is actually okay by default so leave it to 1920 pixel all right so let's go down again add missing dimension so leave this blank lazy load important feature this should be ticked mark all right so you should leave it the way it is go down again okay not really necessary so let's go down let's go down and click to save changes so by default the settings are intact they are perfect all right so the next thing again we're going to check out is our wp rocket settings so let's go to our wp rocket this is it here so we're going to click on wp rocket okay this is our wp rocket so we're going to start by the catch option so this is it here enable catching for mobile device here yeah, enable so this is it here catch separate catch file for mobile devices so let's leave this here more than blah 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 so let's leave this let's go down to enable catching for login user so let's do this here enable this for login user and save changes Okay, another one is this file optimization so let's go down so go to mini minify CSX activate combine CSS file enable blah 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 combine images or reducing okay combine CSS file okay another one is optimize CSS delivery optimize CSS delivery eliminate blah 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 okay so go here another one magify javascript here activate combine javascript file to store. okay it is in not recommended if your site uses http2 so if your site uses http slash 2 it is not recommended but in my case i'm going to leave this blank so let's go down load javascript okay improve load time okay i'm going to click this okay so let's click save changes sorry guys the network is kind of loading slow here okay the next option is gonna be the media option okay enable for images lazy load if you are using lazy load on your image optimizer you can actually leave this option here because we already enabled lazy load option on our u image optimizer so what this plug is going to help us to take care of the lazy load aspect so no need of us enabling the lazy load here again on the media but if you still want to do that you can click this but it is recommended to leave it 
so let's go down image dimension okay you can leave the disable wordpress embed no web p okay and then with this option we like blah 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 so all right so let's leave this the way it is and click save changes Alright, so let's go to preload, activate sitemap base, catching, preloading. Let's leave this to default, default, default. Okay, so let's go to. We've done the. Okay, preload, advanced rules, not the really necessary. So let's go back to database. Yeah, revision. So this option is very very important. You have to tick this here because WordPress saves a lot of re revision on your website. So you can actually use this to wipe out all the revisions saved on your WordPress website. And by doing this, it's going to help to increase your site's load speed. All right. So I'm going to hit this to so that WordPress don't save revision of our work. All right. If you are keeping revision of your work, it's going to reduce your 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 site speed so to click on yes to delete all revision on your wordpress database all right so auto draft draft okay i'm gonna leave this trash in database so i'm gonna trash post on database i'm gonna do that okay let's do this spam comments comments clean up so let's do this yeah Blah blah, blah 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 remove the automatically you know let's require them so let's do this optimize tables yeah automatic cleanup no so let's save changes All right cdn that's for class fair i think so yeah heartbeat very important so let's check control heartbeat should be on so as you can see by default is on so save changes and go back to add-on not necessary so let's go to image optimization so as you can see this plugin here is referring back to us is recommending image 5 for us but since we are using the you image optimizer no need for this you can actually use you uh image file and then uninstall this or you use this and do away with this so in my case i'm doing away with image file and i'm using this so i think i'm done with the whole thing let's go to two nothing necessary here and uh i think that is all so what we're gonna do right here we're gonna refresh our page we are going to refresh our page and then go back to this place and clear catch let's clear our catch let's clear our catch all right congratulations wp rocket is now activated and working for you your website should be loading faster now wow so let's check this website to see if it's loading faster as claimed by wp rocket let's go to gt metrics let's open page speed inside all right so let's keep this here test your website let's do the same here test your website let's see if what we just did right now works wow as you can see right here this is the mobile page speed from google page speed insights so let's check out the desktop speed 98 percent not bad this is actually nice so let's go back to gt metrics wow 100 percent 94 percent structure uh, total load speed is 1.7 seconds so that, that is this website load 1.7 seconds so this is how you can increase your website page speed all right so this is it here mobile let's recheck back again
let's go back and retest wow this is it mobile 93 98 let's go back to this okay still loading up wow still intact so guys this is how you increase your wordpress website page speed all right so let's check this website let's go to guest mode to see how fast this website loads so this is it here this is it and this is it this is an mp3 download website so it has a lot of files so this is it mp3 download it has a lot of files all right guys thank you for watching and do have a lovely day bye yeah.